Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition, aka Mr. Marvel, and this is the channel where we explain it so you don't have to. With Avengers Endgame possessing several moments that tie heavily into the lore of the MCU, fans have started to go back and rewatch the older movies in the series with fresh eyes, desperately searching for tie-ins to the recently released movie. One of the best theories that's just dropped comes in the form of old Steve Rogers being at Peggy Carter's funeral in Captain America Civil War. Now from here on out the video is full spoilers ahead and whilst I've already given some things away, the next part will be massively diving into the ending of Avengers Endgame, so if you don't want anything ruined then I highly suggest that you turn off now. With that out of the way, I just want to give a huge thank you for clicking this video, I hope you enjoy it, now sit back, relax and let's get into my MCU fan theory. Okay, so just a quick recap of the ending of Avengers Endgame. After saving the universe from Thanos, in order to stop it from collapsing further, Steve Rogers must travel back in time to place the Infinity Stones back to their correct positions. However, instead of returning himself, Steve decides to stay in the past in order to live out the rest of his life with his long lost love, Peggy Carter. Whilst fans have wondered whether this was always the case, and Kevin Feige has remained rather tight-lipped on the subject, even avoiding it in his recent Ask Me Anything on Reddit, there is a character that carries Carter's coffin that looks a lot like old Steve from behind. The next image comes directly from that scene, and whilst we never see the pallbearer's face, from behind he has a striking resemblance to old Cap. In addition to this, he also stands on the opposite side of where young Steve is seated, possibly to hide his face so that he doesn't create another problematic alternate timeline. In order to be carrying the coffin, this character must have been pretty close to Carter, and whilst we will probably never have complete confirmation, it's still nice to speculate that this was the case. Marvel have been known to retroactively go back and reconfirm character appearances in early movies, such as young Peter Parker being in Iron Man 2, and this would be amazing if one of the heads of the studios came out and confirmed that this was the case. Obviously, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this theory, and if you'd like to read the full thread on Reddit, then you can find it linked in the description below. If you enjoyed this video then please like it and make sure you check out my recent breakdown of the X-Men movie timeline which finally sorts out all of the continuity problems in the universe. We've also just launched a merchandise section on the channel so if you'd like to support the videos and get something back from it then please click the links in the boxes below. It makes videos like this possible and the team and I massively appreciate it so thank you. This is a channel for people who are super into superheroes so if that's the kind of thing you like hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.